Hey, what is good everybody? It's Timo here. So pretty much I got in one question in particular how to make money. With the new patch you get to bring all the gear you want into the dungeon and pretty much I'm gonna show you how to make a lot of gold just by going in normals, putting as little effort as possible. Basically just follow my steps, everything that I do. I'm gonna show you this is my what the gear I have but it doesn't matter the gear you have. All you need is a perk crush for barbarian with the felon axe which is uh, very convenient to use you could use any other weapon but don't get me wrong basically this is how you can make a lot of gold effortlessly basically you go from box to box you break it you pick everything up you throw whites you pick up greens and blues there is a plenty of them it's actually quite easy to fill up your whole inventory then once you're done with this you start slowly start to upgrade um like the items you find and you start to take better version of items up until the point you collected a decent amount of items um of blue quality and better basically right now first thing first i do is i'm stockpiling to have as many greens pretty much stockpiling only green items will already offer you 200 gold or so just by selling this items right after but don't get me wrong i'm not gonna just do that i also am gonna show you the locations of areas of little areas with which will offer you um extremely high valuable loot basically this locations um in are located in the number of spots one of which is in the um troll room but we're not gonna kill troll well troll drops way too many low quality garbage well this is not what we're here for basically we're gonna break boxes boxes have really good stuff that they drop like they actually tend to drop really rare items including very rare sellables that you can sell basically maybe well didn't get much this time around but you could get blues and even purples from normal also we're gonna collect weed because currently weed costs some money basically this is the first area that you can you want to check if you spawn here but it's not as rare as a spot we're gonna get in um in a moment pretty much i'm gonna take you by hand and drag you all across the map to the spots that you want to loot because this the spots that you want to loot are going to have lots of boxes they're gonna have lots of mobs to kill and basically they're gonna be very easy to clear you can farm this area up but if you're playing barbarian it's not definitely not the best area because you can't break um you can break boxes but um, you can't break the coffins and the coffins actually also tend to have valuable loot but a normal still will drop a slightly more scars pretty much this is what we're gonna have we have a bunch of um greens which is also not bad you can maximize your income by going in completely naked here we go our first green item which is good like this sellable items they go for a lot more you can maximize your loot by bringing absolutely nothing and so that just bring a good weapon go into the game braid boxes equip every single green item you can find and by the end you will be able to make 300 plus you can make up to 500 for example you can see i equipped the double axe by the way speaking of the goblin caves this is one of the extract locations the next extract location i'm gonna show you in a second don't forget to kill this goblin because sometimes he can throw he can shot through the elevator which will absolutely fucking suck dick that's definitely not something you want to happen basically the gold um as is it's not as valuable but the potions are definitely something that you want to pick up because the potions are very valuable so we're gonna move on to the next place we have so here by the way if you want to collect jewelry down below this is this location is um basically the middle of the map we have two centipedes we have one centipede right here which is very easy to kill very very freaking easy it takes little to no effort to kill it it's actually quite effortless like all you need to do is just to hit it a couple times it's gonna die then just hit mobs couple times they're gonna die simple as that 
basically let's check out the giant centipede and here we go we got a blue pot which costs currently close to 100 gold on market and also we got a better bear pendant but uh, i don't think it's gonna cost as much as we're not gonna give a fuck once you go up you can actually find one more centipede which is going to be located west from the middle of the map also there is another centipede which is going to be located on the opposite side of um this uh middle map of this block i would say which is located literally right here if you want to kill it go ahead there is a chance you get purple uh jewelry and the chance of the purple jewelry is actually pretty high it's uh, 30 percent or so to get a pretty decent drop if you want to find another centipede here we go we have another room where you can kill another centipede which also gonna have a really good chest which is north from the middle map also that chest tend to drop valuables that are quite expensive if you need a static there is a static located which is going to be west from the middle block if we go directly here basically if you look at the map in the bottom right corner you get to see the name which is cave pit hole right here if you go west you're going to encounter a goblin which is going to be a hard uh, like a blocking or protecting this part which is going to be the static this is not the only static here we're gonna go in the place which is also gonna have another static which well not a static but gonna have a portal but also that place is extremely valuable for you to loot which called is a prison before we get there we're gonna loot another block this block is uh, basically the area of a cyclops this is basically where the cyclops leaves pretty much once you get in you're gonna encounter two skeletons but the reason why we got here isn't because of the cyclops don't get me wrong we can kill cyclops it's mainly because of these boxes right here basically these boxes drop sellables and this sellables is basically what we are here for we're gonna loot the sellables because they actually is the most profitable stuff you can find if you come across green bandages or any kind of bandages, you should pick them up because you need bandages. Bandages are important for the task and basically you should avoid using them. If you come across leather caps, you also should pick them up because you will need them for another task. Right, now let's go back to the place that I was talking about. Don't forget to break every single box that you come across. Now the box, the place we're gonna go is the prison. The prison is gonna have lots of boxes and the boxes are gonna have lots of cheese and basically that's what we're gonna go for this is the aim of today's video is to collect as much cheese with as little effort as possible basically it takes little to no effort to break to hit the box one time and basically it's gonna die if you come across archer um goblin all it takes to kill is just circle around the right it's little to no it's gonna take little to no effort it's very easy to kill here we're gonna come, uh, if you come across Potion of Healing, pick that up. Pick that a bitch up because I'm gonna explain you why. Also, if you see Ale, yes, take that bitch as well. You will need Ale for the task, for the down the line, for the tavern task line. Basically, that's in case if you want to do task. You break boxes as quick as possible. Once you're done with it, basically you will acquire a bunch of cheese sometimes you get more sometimes you get less basically on each side of this prison map which also called cave altar by god knows why it's real it's just a fucking prison simple as that it's known as a prison everyone calls it prison but iron maze decided to call it cave altar which is fucking weird here we go, we got to another place. If you come across the ceremonial dagger, you pick them up because you will need it for a task which will be um, um, a treasure task. Break boxes, find pots, pick them up, you will need them for the um, alchemist task. Basically, I may have fed you so much fucking information in just one video, which is absolutely gonna be ridiculous, but don't get me wrong, if you t learn at least 1%, well, basically, you will be able to pick up some new information. The little green sellables is what you're gonna aim for. The green sellables is what's gonna sell the most. There is a high chance that you find more, the more boxes you're gonna break. If you go down, you're gonna encounter the, ma the fucking mage. Everybody hate those things because they hit pretty hard and some of them even shoot at extreme rate. Sometimes your game gonna fucking stutter because it's Iron Mace and Iron Mace do manage to mess up some things. If you go down, you're gonna find two big chests with a higher chance of uh, spawning better quality stuff. Here we go, we encounter our first blue item, 
which is gonna sell for a chunky bit. So pretty much once you come across better stuff, you just throw the fuck the stuff you don't need. And basically this is what we got. Here we have another chest. We have a skeleton that's gonna always spawn here. Sometimes you can come across the fucking Axemen, which absolutely fucking suck dick, which gonna fucking attack you no matter how you try. It used to have a different attack animation, but like now it's just fucking cancer. Okay, don't get me wrong, you can. Oh, here we go. These two chests right here offered us three blue items. These three blue items gonna cost, cost quite a decent chunk of money, and this is exactly what you're gonna aim for. The better quality, the better it is. You can come across a lot of items and from one game alone you can actually find a lot of cheese. This is not the only... Oh, 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 by the way, the bone is what you need. Why do you need a bone? Because you need it for a task that is going to be unlocked very soon. The fox pendant, suck, we don't need it, we're gonna throw it away. The bandage, we don't care, we're gonna throw it away because we need bone for a task. Here we go, we come to a place which gonna spawn three portals, sometimes it spawn one, sometimes it spawn three. Maybe it always spawns three and maybe sometimes it just gets stolen by the players. But yeah, the number of times I was able to um, came to this place and I were able to find only one portal. Maybe they were, maybe they were just taken, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, since I already have another leather caps and I'm trying to maximize profit, I'm gonna try to get as much sellables per one rate and pretty much this is it, finita la commedia. Let's get out and let's see how much gold we were able to acquire from this one game alone. Let's check it out. Exit to the lobby, we go. Let's see what we're gonna get in this game. Alright, so we go to the collector. Collector gonna take your syllabus. We have already quite a good chunk of bid. We are 279 gold. We are 311. 320. We also got a bunch of items that is going to be useful. One, which is a light food boots. Luck will increase your chance of getting higher quality of gear, which I'm gonna keep. The bone will help you get the task done, which you're gonna find down later down the line. Um, either by the fucking tavern master fuck knows or like i don't i honestly don't even remember my bad my bad but you do need to find a bunch of those i think it's the tavern master task line so pretty much you were able to find 300 gold plus is it like that let's check how much the warden wheat costs let's hop into the trade and let's google up the word wheat 115 gold if you stack a bunch of those which you can find five plus per game if you just look for specific areas you will be able to harvest 150 gold plus if you know exactly where to look you can make easily another 150 gold if you're planning to play on the um, more of a you know crafting because the game has to offer a bunch of MMO tech, such as um, crafting, such as harvesting, etc. Currently, the game into development, and we gotta get a lot more stuff to explore. As of right now, you can collect a bunch of type of ores, which you can see right in front, and basically that includes the iron ore, the copper ore, the cobalt ore, ruby silver, and gold with the frost powder. Pretty much which each and every um, type of ore, I already made a video and I'm gonna link it up right now so you get to see what kind of stuff you will be able to play with if you come across this type of ore and what is the potential of crafting you can get. Each and every build that I made um, was a completely different build. I had the blueberry and with, that I made with the copper ore, I mean, uh, with the cobalt ore, I had the copper baryon, which was an orange baryon, which would increase your move speed all the way to 330. The ruby silver powder will let you make a barbarian that would fucking attack with the speed of lightning, and the gold powder build would just make you look really fucking cool. Anyway, basically, that's gonna be the video on how to make gold in normals in the new patch that just recently came out. This video is more like a new player type kind of video that will help a lot of people who just recently started to play the game, as that will show you the way to farm jewelry, make some gold, and actually get a pretty decent kickstart 
into the wipe and um, you will be able to actually get a decent chunk of gold within three to five games that will allow you to start snowball in further down into the dungeon by buying better type of gear anyway it's demo i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully you were able to learn something and if that's so please consider to press subscribe button i'd really appreciate it anyway it's demo and i'll see you in a dungeon